Skittles, come on. He doesn't want to get too close anymore. Derek Gow thought so-called Nazi cattle would make an interesting addition to the rare breeds on his Devon farm. With their long horns and shaggy coats, they are impressive beasts. But Derek didn't realise just how ferocious they would be. If I was standing here and, and, and some of the more aggressive ones were in this field and they could see me, then they would come right across now and try and kill you. That's how aggressive they were. Try and kill you? Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah, I mean, they had every intention of, of, of wiping you from the face of this earth. Fearing for his life, Derek said he had no choice but to destroy 20 of the most aggressive cattle, leaving him with just six rather more docile beasts. Maybe Derek shouldn't have been surprised. The heck cattle were deliberately created by Nazi genetics experts. Keen huntsman Hermann Goering here wanted an iconic and aggressive breed which could roam freely across Europe, like the aurochs of old. The idea of Greek heroes like Hercules wrestling aurochs is sort of writ large in classical mythology, and the, the Nazis wanted a part of that. You know, they wanted the Nazi supermen to be able to sort of, you know, best themselves against these kind of creatures in a sort of post-war Germany. Come on, come on. Derek Gow says he's feeling a lot safer now he's got rid of the more dangerous members of the herd. His Nazi cows are the only ones in the UK. And if you're wondering what happened to the aggressive cattle that had to be destroyed, the answer is burgers and sausages. John Kay, BBC News, Devon.